Notion recently announced that you can now integrate your Sendal checkout pages and product pages with your Notion pages. In this video, we're going to walk through exactly what that means and how to do it on your own Notion pages. So if you're not familiar with Sendal, basically it's a platform where you can sell digital products and services. If you're in the Notion world, you've probably heard of Gumroad before. A lot of creators use Gumroad to actually sell their templates. Uh, one of the things that happened recently is that Gumroad switched from a variable cost to a flat fixed rate of 10% of any transaction that happens. So that actually turned a lot of creators away from Gumroad and they're looking for alternatives to Gumroad. Sendowl is one of those alternatives. So they don't charge a flat rate, uh, rather they charge a monthly fee uh, and then they have a transaction fee as well. So now what's really cool about this integration is that it fits seamlessly into your Notion page. And this is especially useful for people that are using Notion as a landing page or as a blog. As you can see here, it has a picture of, uh, you know, the thumbnail view where it has the picture of the actual product. And then it has a buy now with a little description here. Um, and this is in the Notion page. And then you also have this other option where it says text. You can just click on the link and it'll take you to the checkout process. Uh, what's nice is uh, Sendal actually has the option to link directly to the checkout page, or you can link it to the product page. And so if you want to link it to the product page, we can show you that. Um, but first, let's get into actually how to um, connect Sendal with your uh, Notion page. So basically, as an example, uh, I just added our research project accelerator Notion template in here. And so before you could do anything, you're going to want to add the product that you're trying to sell or products you're trying to sell. And then once you have that in there, you want to then go ahead and hit sell. And then when you hit sell, it'll give you these two links. Okay. So the first link is use this link to send customers direct to your payment page. Second link is uh, use this link to send customers to your product sales page. So basically what that is, is we'll go through both of these. We'll start with this product page. And so basically what this is, is it'll show the details of the product and it'll have them click again to purchase. So if we actually paste this here, you'll see here, uh, just go ahead and hit paste as preview. And then what, if it's not already connected to Sendel, you're going to have to connect here. So you just hit this button to click to connect to Sendel. And then hit select pages. And then for me, I know that I just want what's in the Learn Notion. So I'm just going to give access to those pages. Um, and boom, here we go. So now we have the product here. And so I have this actually live as a website. So let me actually pull this up in a separate tab. And so take a look at this. So this is the actual product here. Now it's nice, but there's a couple things that I don't like about this because uh, if I click on this, what happens is it pulls up that product page that we talked about. So this information, I basically just copied from this landing page here. So I don't need the customer to actually see it again. But if that's what you want, this is what you have. And you just hit buy now, then the customer can go ahead and fill out their information and check out. And so if you want the actual, just the, um, um, payment page, what you do is just copy the link for the payment page. So go ahead and paste that. And so now, uh, uh, yep, you're going to want to paste this preview. And so now let's refresh this. And if we scroll down and then hit this button, it should just take it to the email and card number. Boom, right? So the customer is already on the landing page. They've already read the information. We know they already want to buy it. So go ahead and just give them the option to buy instead of having to click another button. Super cool. I love that. And now if you're like me, you may have noticed on the actual page that it has this thumbnail view, but it also has this text view, which actually looks a lot cleaner. And for me, I feel like it fit nicer in my uh, site instead of adding another picture because there's already a picture on this landing page, right? It just feels like it's distracting from everything. So how do you do that? Let's walk through that. So first let's delete this. Um, and I just want them to go direct to the payment page because I already know they want the product, okay? So what we're gonna do here is when we paste this, we hit Command V and then paste as mention and boom, you got it. That looks nice and clean. I really like the way that looks. So let's refresh this and boom, we can just go ahead and click this and it'll take you to checkout. I really think that looks super clean and nice. Um, and then, you know, what's cool is when you hover over, you can see the full thing too. It's not like you don't have that at all. So that's how you set up Sendal and connect it to Notion. Really pretty simple. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.